Hi there. If you haven't already seen our video on how to build your own reusable elastomeric respirator, please find a link to that video embedded in the corner. We've been so excited to see healthcare providers around the world trying out our design, and we're so thankful for the feedback we've received to date. In this video, we'd like to introduce a few new design features that we hope will help make our respirator a little more versatile. The first is a 3D printed ring adapter that fits the standard anesthesia masks and allows a mask to be secured to the face with a wide array of elastic straps. The second is a 3D printed adapter that connects the mask to the filter in such a way that allows the respirator to be more easily used with a face shield. We've also created an adapter that allows for improved breathability. In our first video, we explained that the ring hooks that often come with standard anesthesia masks can be used to secure elastic straps. For those of you who don't have access to ring hooks, we've developed a printable universal adapter that fits onto an anesthesia mask like a standard ring hook, but allows for variability in elastic straps. Let's take a look at how this ring adapter works. Around the hospital, you may be able to find elastics with perforated holes along their length. These elastics are typically 21 inches long, which is an appropriate length for this purpose. Using these holes, the elastic can easily be secured to the pegs on our adapters like so. After securing two elastic straps, attach the adapter to the mask and ensure a good fit on your face. If the fit isn't quite right, the benefit of the perforated straps is the ability to easily switch holes to loosen or to tighten the mask without needing to disassemble the adapter. We previously demonstrated use of our mask with elastics found on standard non-rebreather masks. To use these straps with our adapter, you can cut holes into the ends and similarly fasten them to the pegs. Many types of elastic straps, with and without pre-made holes, are commercially available. Some of you might want to use CPAP straps. These work slightly differently. The ends of these straps have Velcro, which allow them to be looped into the adapter's specially designed channels. Other available Velcro straps work as well. Some of you might have two spare elastic sport headbands, or something similar, at home. These can also easily be used with our adapter by taking advantage of the side channels. Regardless of what straps you use or what configuration you use them in, you'll still be able to attach your filter to the mask without issue. After releasing our initial design, we received a lot of questions about whether our respirator could be used along with a face shield. There was some concern that the extent to which the filter projected in front of your face would make wearing a face shield difficult. In order to address this, we worked in close collaboration with the Weaver Laboratory at the Wies Institute to develop an elbow that ensures fit between the mask and the filter while allowing for use of a standard face shield. When using the elbow, ensure that it's positioned in such a way that the opening of your filter is not obstructed by your gown. In an effort to further improve the usability of the device, we developed a T-piece adapter that accomplishes the same goal as the oboe, but allows two filters to be used simultaneously. Some users have also added other tubing of different shapes and sizes in order to similarly make the respirator compatible with standard eye protection. All of these modifications may improve subjective breathability, but users should keep in mind that additional components to the respirator carry a risk of increasing dead space which may lead to CO2 retention. One last thing we'd like to mention is a new filter we recently came across. This is the VB Max 48mm PFT filter made by AM Systems. As you can see, it has a wide opening allowing for excellent breathability, as well as a narrow opening that fits well onto our anesthesia mask. The difference in opening size allows consistency in filter direction when reassembling the device for multiple uses. In one of our previous videos, we showed this chart comparing the various filters we've explored. Here's how the VB Max 48 stacks up.
This filter fits perfectly with both adapters we've discussed in this video. If you would like to learn more about our work or simply have questions for us, please reach out to us at surgeinnovation at children's.harvard.edu. We've posted 3D printing files of the ring adapter in the comment section below for you to print these pieces yourself. Hey, how are you?